Mm -hmm. Okay, English 2. Um, so I wanted to come in and talk about a few things with you as we're um, moving into the Thanksgiving break space. Um, so as you know, this week we've been uh, working on background information. Last week we were also working on background information. The difference is this week you found some background information on your topic. Um, and I hope those searches have been going uh, pretty well. Um, as I have talked about in class, like the number one thing to do is really uh, keep up with my pace, right? Uh, time management is something that uh, almost all high school students really struggle with. Um, and so if you're really doing about 30 minutes of English work a day, that's all I'm asking for you to do. And I'm setting the schedule for you to be successful. So if you're falling, you know, a day behind, that's not a big deal because you can do two assignments in one day. Um, this week is, is good evidence of like, we're going to have vocab on Mondays. I'm going to ask you to do some research stuff Tuesday through Thursday. And then Friday is kind of open. Um, so I'm not even asking you to do five days worth of work. Um, although don't forget that we're still reading. And, um, you know, even though I'm not collecting uh, reading journals at this point, um, my hope is that you're finishing your books. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, I'm going to post a couple things um, for this week, this very short week for Thanksgiving. Um, one is just the follow-up to vocab. We're going to finish off another vocab unit. And the next is um, thinking about uh, revisions for personal narratives. So um, at this point in time, I have a few personal narratives to grade. By the time you're watching this video, my hope is that I've graded all of them and that you have feedback. And the feedback is always really important in this class, but even more so here, I've given you audio feedback as well as a rubric. And I mentioned this in an email kind of early on in the process that I really want you to listen to that feedback to understand why I marked the rubric the way that I did. Um, you're going to see that you have an opportunity to do some rewriting. And so that's what I would encourage you to do on Tuesday before we go on Thanksgiving break is to do some rewriting. Um, that would alleviate you from any kind of work over Thanksgiving. Uh, and I'm also going to post our reading project. So really, if you've been on pace with reading all semester uh, and you're up to date with research and you're up to date with um, your, your paper and you, you took a little bit of Tuesday to do your paper, then you won't have anything to do over Thanksgiving break. It, it's truly a break for you. Uh, if, however, you're behind in any of those things, I would encourage you to take one or two days of that break time and catch up uh, because we won't have a lot of time to play catch up when we get back from Thanksgiving. Um, the, the process for turning in uh, edits is going to be pretty easy. It's a zero point assignment. And I'm just going to ask that you give me your grade uh, and give me a little explanation of what you did uh, so that I can look at that. I can look at your grade instead of having to go through my grade book and find out what your grade was. And then I'm adding points out of zero to your original grade. Um, so the only thing that can happen is it goes up, right? So we definitely want to do revisions, um, especially... I mean, honestly, if you got like a 36 out of 40, that's a 90. I don't necessarily expect you to do revisions there, but anything lower than that, and I would think eh, it's probably worth the 20 or 30 minutes that it might take to add some dialogue or to um, correct some spelling or whatever the rubric is really indicating. For those of you who had a real difficult time um, and you want to get in touch with me, I'll, I'll have some instructions on how to do that. Um, aside from just the, the regular in-class time that we have. Um, so just wanted to kind of get all of that out there. Um, and then just, just a preview for when we come back from, from Thanksgiving break, my intention is to get us to working on research questions, to diving deeper into research, um, and then finally organizing that folder, and you're going to turn that folder in as a project-based final as opposed to a paper-based final. So I don't expect us to have a test unless for some reason administration really wants us to have a, a physical test. Um, then I'm going to forego that, and we're going to do a project-based final. Um, and again, 
what that requires from you, whether you're in person or digital or whatever happens after break, is that you be following the the basic Monday through Friday um, system that I have that I have laid out for you, and making sure that you're doing those things. Um, so uh, again, the expectations aren't aren't much different than they have been in the past, um, but those of you who have, who have really expressed like yes time management is something that's difficult for me remember i'm the one managing the time right so if you're working on my time frame then you're going to be fine you're not going to have any issues with time management if you are not working on my time frame if you're waiting and doing all of your english homework one day a week for example suddenly that's two hours of work just for english and that's that's not a road to success for most of us um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, um, I expect to see some, some revisions kind of leak in. Um, maybe some, some final drafts from the first time around leak in uh, over Thanksgiving break. Um, I do intend to take as much of a break as possible. I, I also need a break. I'm getting pretty exhausted with the different schedules that we have and, and the coursework that I have to do. Um, and so my, my hope is to, to actually take two or three full days off and rest. Um, and so, you know, if, if late work has to kind of wait, uh, it will wait. So you deserve to know that. Um, and you just, I deserved it to, to take a break too. So, um, that's, that's always something that's good to, to articulate.